the Regents International for our event today, which is the Bee Musical. And uh, as I promised the children, I would wear my bee. Okay. Uh, the children have worked very hard on this, and we really hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Welcome to the Bee Musical, an amusing story of life in a beehive. Bees are fascinating creatures, as we all know, but as well as producing honey and beeswax, they are just now important there for the food we eat. Bees are responsible for pollinating a third of crops grown for humans to eat. This means if there are no doing the job then there will be less food for us to eat. Environmental threats to bees then are increasing and soon the situation could become critical. Our story highlights this issue in a humorous way. We hope that you enjoy the show. Mr. Waxworth and Dennis were mad about bees. They had loads of beehives in the bottom of their garden. One sunny day, Mr. Waxworth and Dennis went to put on their white bee seats and went down to their favorite beehive. The guard bees at the hive was having a busy day. They had already scared up two black birds and a woodpecker that morning. Who was it this time? Good morning, guy. Good morning, Mouse. How is the honeycomb looking? Wouldn't you like to know last winter you hibernated in here? You ate nearly all our precious honeycomb and ruined our hive. But it was so cold outside, the honey was delicious. The queen bee was very angry, but this year we're building up our defenses and putting a mouse guard for the winter so you won't get in. Oh, bother! Who, who would go there? It's only Mr. Waxworth and Dennis. Good morning, bees. Good morning, Mr. Waxworth. Things are really busy in the house today. Mr. Waxworth carefully lifts the lid off the hive. <laughs> I'm told Mr. Wafer we busy. Busy, busy, busy. We got honeycomb to make. Hmm? More work hmm. for the honeycomb. Water for the hive. Store the pollen. Make honey. Mm -hmm. Air circulation, please. Better feed the babies. Clean the hive.
With all that work going on, the bees were getting hungry. It was time to send out the nectar team. May I introduce you the head of operation? Morning, it's everyone. Tum it's Tumblebee. Morning, everyone. What a lovely day. Present and correct. Present and correct. Tumblebee, you're late again. Right. Let's go and find some nectar. But we're waiting for Grandpa B. Where is he? He's practicing his speech again. Grandpa B! All the bees in the hive left the work and never moaned. Except for one. Grumble B was never quite satisfied. He wanted to do something more impressive, like an actor or an astronaut. More than anything else, he wanted to feel important. We know what we are, but no, not what we may be. Are we just little visiting things that don't matter? Grumblebee, we got work to do. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's a bee's life. Okay, let us see. Are we feeling fit? Have you got a bus? Let's go. Grumblebee was very fed up. He really didn't see the point. Why was all this hard work so important? And how could it possibly make him important? Double, double, toll and trouble. Why do we do work in such a puzzle?
Panther team arrived back at the hive with as much nectar as they could bring and as much pollen as they could carry in the pollen basket on their sneeze. Grumble Bee watched them arrive triumphantly and wished that he had something to be triumphant about. There were also rumble to be heard from the nectar team. Some bee felt that Grumble Bee should be helping with the pollen instead of wasting time practicing his speech. Who says that anyway? It's beyond laziness. I'm going to see my friend, Mr. Wexford. I know when I'm not wanted. Meanwhile, the work wasn't over. There was more nectar to be collected, and a new team of bees was preparing to go on the next nectar collecting expedition. Bee team at the ready. Where can we find flowers, Tumblebee? Only the wagon as will tell you. This is my favorite bee, but I love to watch a good boogie. Bees, get ready for the bee bop. He could always rely on his friend, Mr. Waxworth, to cheer him up. It seemed that he was only the person who really understood him. Hello, dear Grumble. What can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Waxworth. I'm feeling a little sad. I think the other bees I just passed off. You know, Grumble, we're all important. Everyone has their part to play. I'm sure the other bees to see that we'd be lost without you. Meet the droves. They spend a lot. 
lot of time flying about and waiting for the queen of the hive. They all want to marry the mysterious queen bee. Make way for the queen. Mirror, mirror, make it snappy. How can I find a decent chappy? Me, 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 me. Mirror, mirror, in my hand. Who the most beautiful in the land? You are, you are, you are, Majesty. Be mine, be me, be me, Majesty. <laughs> attended the creek, the others buzzed off their chores the whole day long. More roll, Jolly, please. What's that racket? Keep it down. I'm having some me time. But as the sun was setting, they're back. The bee team's back. Good. We're starving. Why are you late and where's the nectar? We couldn't find any. Couldn't find any? What's this commotion? Can a lady get some peace and quiet around here? Where's Jumbo B? Uh, What's yes. the meaning of this? Uh, yes, no, yes, you are your highness. Your majesty, the bees are exhausted. They just not enough food. We're hungry. And everyone coming down with a tummy ache. Oh dear, what will we do? And it's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tumblebee was right. The world was about to find the real importance of our bug, of our buggy little friend. As night fell upon the hive, the colony settled down with less rumbling tummies.
the new set 7:30 with me, how we headline around the world be colonists are collapsing. Scientists suspect that pesticides to blame along with the lack of flowers, plants and nesting places. Bees pollinate of plants by spreading their pollen around. So many food types may now become rare, including strawberries, pumpkin, peaches, onions, cucumbers, bean, apple, rhubarb. I can't bear to hear any more. I must talk to the colony. Hi, we got on. I'm so hungry. So hungry. So hungry. How is that supposed to help, Jumbo Bee? We could pin a message on a helicopter. How will you fly it? What about a play? Yes, let's do a play. That's a brilliant idea. The town will love it, but who will play the lead role? Whatever, Grumbo Bee. Yes, Grumbo Bee. Yes, you're so good at work. Was one to the bridge, the FND must be hers. As words spread through the town, excitement grew. The bees need the plan of the year. Be down or be square. Grumble Bee was so excited. He wrote the script, helped the younger bees to learn the lines, and he practiced, practiced, practiced. These are hotter, these are hotter, these are hotter. Finally, the opening night came. The colony is proud to present the business starring Grumble Bee. To be or not to be, that is the question. Beeswax, proper, delicious honey. Oh, I didn't show you the happy meal. None, none. We 
really long. Show me your finest wear, Mr. Business B. I've got flowers to defect and soothe the honey for the delicious treat. Beeswax for the finest candles all made by bees. Well, I didn't know that this may go up, that we'll take it all. Farmers! Farmers! Crops. The yummy food that you see in the shop. There is no greater friends to me than the super wonderful Billy Bee. Those little baskets on their knees are practical accessories. They fill them with pollen and fly about while they're working some drops out. Ouch. Now you could say it's not by chance. The pollen falls onto the plants. So more plants can start to grow. That's why we need the bees, you know. Without the bees, it's plain to see there'll be less food for you and me. For a third of the food that's on your plate, we need the bees to pollinate. Yeah. 
Fun for the frog, makes you our bedroom. A frog a day keeps us locked away. That's what our grandma used to say. By honey from local beekeeper. I'll make a bubble bee hotel to provide shelter. Yes, 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 thank you. Everybody. It is not in the start to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. The townspeople are overjoyed to find that they could do so much for the bees. Everyone did their little bit, and of course, the bees were delighted to have help from their neighbors and they found plenty of food, shelter, and water in their newly planted gardens. But the play did it just convince the lock hole. Grumble Bee had a new found spring in his step. Finally, he realized that he had been important all along. He was a bee. B -I -B. Yeah, yeah. It seems to me. Seems to me to be a bee. Right, that's better. Well, Chairman, members of the board, parents, um, members of staff, friends, on behalf of all of us, what's so funny? Uh, I'd like to thank everybody in year one and year two for a fantastic production. Uh, it's been great fun, and I think sitting in the audience, it's quite easy to forget just how young all the students are on the stage here. Some of us, of course, are young at heart, but all the students here, only in year one and year two, to remember all of those words, to remember all of those dance moves and all of those songs. So let's give them one huge one last round of applause. Thank you all very much. Well done. The, uh, the team, uh, the, the year one, two, and three team have done a huge amount of work. There are many, many members of staff who have done a great deal. Uh, and I, on behalf of every one of the students, I'd like to thank every one of the uh, members of staff who've done so much to help. Uh, they're all named on the program, but uh, the ones backstage, the ones front of stage, uh, uh, Mrs. Ling for all of her work with the music, and everyone who's helped on the technical and lighting side. But particularly, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Ferrandino for all of his hard work, sitting quietly there with his uh, matching headgear. But we've got a little gift here on behalf of all of us, just to say thank you to Paul. Thank you. Now, there have been quite a few photographs taken already during the performance, and I've got, I imagine there are going to be a few more taken in a few minutes, is that right? So, uh, if I can just ask all the performers to stay on the stage, and I'll hand over to Mrs. Drum, who will organise some pictures. But on behalf of everybody here again, boys and girls, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wasn't that fantastic? Right, we've got some wonderful actors here, but we want to be able to see you all for the photographs. 
So if you're sitting in any of the front rows over here in the middle or on this side, would you stand up please? And come to the front of the stage, just the front rows and sit down on the stage. Yes, please. If you're in the second row, could you come and stand behind them, please? 